Hello, welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. Welcome to... I did a thing. So I keep telling you I can't afford stuff and then I keep unboxing things. So I sold two bags in July and I was doing great. I was I sold them for a very good price, fair price, and I didn't plan on selling them, but the person I sold them to was like, oh, I love those bags. And their coach, you know how coach likes to break our heart. And um, they make beautiful things and only come in that colorway. So um, I no longer have a cham chambray pillow tabby or the Madison Azure um, shoulder bag because they are rehomed. And with that, I was doing fantastic. And then I'm like, well, I can afford to buy one, two, five. I don't know how many bags I bought, but I just kept finding some really amazing deals. This is one of those amazing deals. And then I went from net positive to net neutral to now net negative because I, uh, I have exceeded the amount of money I sold those bags for. So now I'm back in the same boat I started in. And here we go. So this is a bag. I don't know how I keep finding um, people to buy stuff from in Florida. This is from Florida, but this is from eBay. I didn't know they were in Florida. So this is a bag. I bought this for two reasons. I have a version of this bag currently being repaired at the Dooney store, um, and it's going to cost some money. One of the little um, keepers came apart or was missing so to replace that I'm paying to replace it I'm just happy they could fix it but this is a shoulder bot shoulder bag top handle bag that has a shoulder strap now the other one I have has a missing strap and this is one of those weird vaquetta vachetta color handles so this lady was selling this she had all the paperwork this is um it's this color blue and it had all the accessories and it was for bed and now I have the strap which I can use for both bags because I change out straps. I'm not even sure. Sh oh wow. Now this is going to be a fun experiment. So you can tell by looking at this bag she never used the shoulder strap or the crossbody strap because look at the color of the vaquetta. It has not aged because what she used was just the bag and in sunlight um oil from your hand this is what's going to happen there's some staining on here some red staining. i knew all this going into this there's some water staining here i have no issue with my vaquetta looking like this i think it's interesting that the shoulder strap is, i'm gonna have to moisturize this i'm sure it never touched moisture um our conditioner so let's see what else came with this I have a whole bunch of things that came with this I didn't know this had all the all these things with it because the other one I had was just the bag it has the old-school cell phone pocket it has the original um, domed satchel in blue and that is what it's called and this is even man, this is even the old-school tag I haven't seen that tag in forever and let's see if there's anything the zip pocket it's just, it has the original little tag. Let's see, this one is made in China. It has the leather vaquetta key fob. It is, has a beautiful, this is beautiful. If they used this, I mean, they must have because there's some red staining, some water spots. I mean, it was used, but not very much because that's in like amazing condition. But look at all the extras that came with this. Let me tuck the paperwork in before I misplace the paperwork. Um... But you know me, I'm going to be using this bag. This is so cool. I've never seen one of these. Um, this is an ID holder right here. It doesn't have, it's just, that's it. It doesn't have a way to attach anything. It's just eyeglass holder. I mean, again, I think this is the only thing that shows any, any evidence of age is this this right here I mean it's so clean you're like is this real or is this fake because things this clean are hard to find but it's actually the water spots that gave me the sense of okay it has all the paperwork it has all the right tags it has all the right things it has all the right hallmarks it has all the right stamping um 
has a wristless key fob thing. It has all the right interior markings. So yeah, I and okay. So how much would you pay for this handbag? And and I'll be honest, I wanted the bag, but I really wanted the strap. You're never gonna believe how much I paid for this. I still can't believe I paid this much for this. I only paid fifty dollars on eBay. I think I had to pay for shipping, but in tax. But um, I was the only bidder. It was a bid, and I'm like, I'll bid on it. it was, and normally when that happens, other people bid and I lose out. But this is an older style bag. This is gonna stop me from using it. I love this bag. This bag to me is it's it's gold. It's my favorite color. It's all my favorite things like I mean look at that's my favorite Louis up there see the similarities you know it's like I see the similarities so hi everyone magic of editing the next part of this video was an unboxing that turned out to be a counterfeit I don't want to show the counterfeit it's been returned it's been resolved so anyway thank you for watching my video have a great day bye